I'm sorry. I am I am feeling saucy. It turned into a much longer night than I thought it was going to. I don't like surprises. Let's uh, let's let's go from feeling saucy to feeling sauced, shall we? Oh, that's a good segue. <laughs> Six, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me and this guy. And the whiskey that makes it sound better. Today, we're doing a lovely whiskey review here. A little different format on the video. Hope you like it. Please let, me, let us know in the comments. Uh, we're doing, what are we doing, Sean? We're going to do a comparison between Jim Beam White, Black, and Vanilla. Ah, now this is the Valentine's Day show, right? This is the Valentine's Day show. None of these are age statements. They're all going to be pretty blanket, easy to get a hold of varietals. Well, I have a Valentine's Day present for you. Uh, I'm, I don't like presents. I don't like presents and I even like being less... Oh, you son of a... Uh, he thought I left that at home. So this is I Jim hoped, Beam. I hoped he had left it at home. This is Jim Beam. It's apple uh, liqueur that's infused with Jim Beam. So... Consider it a, part, a a fruit basket, if you will. <laughs> and you're, we're, we're, we can also, you know, do some mixing. And this is the worst edible arrangements I've ever been a part of. Thank you. But wait, there's more. No, no, there's not. <laughs> Turn the video off. First click of to click to the next video up here or this one over here. Also, <laughs> I'm just making more work for you. I understand. <laughs> well. Um, You're making more work for me. This e is only fair. <laughs> e Eagle-eyed viewers may also note that I gave Sean something else. A lovely Room 6 shirt as he guzzles his beer. <laughs> I wasn't told I was going to have a bad night. <laughs> so I, I'm over-preparing now. I'm setting myself up for success for later. That's what you do, kids. There you go. Message of positivity. Turn every bad situation into a possible good one. This, however, I see no good outcomes for me, but you guys might laugh. <laughs> so before we get into, uh, you know, uh, sticking our noses in some hooch, uh, I just want to take a brief moment to say, hope you're having a wonderful February 14th. <laughs> February 14th. We're in the middle of February now. Yes. And also... Um, if you decide that you would like to look like one of us, you can get this shirt in many colors. If you would like to wear the same apparel as us, you can get the shirts at the store. If you want to look like us, I don't think you should have that same unfortunate happenstance happen to you. <laughs> the shirts are one thing. The faces, the bodies are a whole different. All right. So obviously, room6.shop. But at the merch shop, you can absolutely get the shirts. Yes. So moving on. I'm sorry. I, I'm feeling saucy. It turned into a much longer night than I thought it was going to. I don't like surprises. Let's, uh, let's, let's go from feeling saucy to feeling sauced, shall we? Oh, that's a good segue. <laughs> so then, what order do we want to do these in? Finish with the apple? We're in February. It's Black History Month. Let's start with the black. Well done. much this is the black extra aged Jim Beam offering I don't see an age statement in it I've been looking at lights too long <laughs> oh geez I can't I think that says 86 but I also have spotlight eye if any of you have worked in the arts film entertainment industry you know what white spots are yes it's 86 okay uh, that means 43% alcohol by volume. I believe it's the same as the white label. Yes, it is. This is just extra aged, quote unquote. I don't know what the age statement is. I didn't do any work on this. I didn't. Not genuine without my signature. Anyway. As, as taglines go. <laughs> you know, the signatures are screen printed on. Yeah. Just throwing that out there, Jim Beam. Maybe better tagline. Nothing to say about your, your, your whiskey, because your whiskey is really nice. 
It's got a lot of different varietals and a lot of different age statements. I've had it at a lot of different times in my life. What I can say is I keep coming back to it for a reason. And the reason is consistency. Jim Beam has a nice consistency. It's, uh, it's going to be the same product every time you have it. Mm -hmm. But every expression is going to be a little different. In the best way it's going to shape out the edges it's going to give a contrast to the body the central profile but let's jump into that speaking of it here's the general profile on the nose and uh here is to having a better february than you had a january and a better january than you had a 2020 keeping the momentum going riding the wave of positivity forward until december 2021 and then on from there you cheers to you saucy. Cheers to you. Oh. Nice vanilla notes. Uh, mm -hmm. Some really, really lovely oakiness that I get from the barrel. But not overpowering. Not, not overpowering. Not super woody. But also a little vanilla, a little, sh not sherry, but some kind of nice fruit note that's that's rounding that palate out. Like a che like cherry? Like I want to say cherry? cherry, but it's not a medicinal cherry. No, no, no. It there's a cherry of vanilla. It's certainly a spicy kind of lively note to it, mm -hmm. but it is mold yeah. in the same way you get a mold wine. It certainly stands out from regular Jim Beam, just original Jim Beam. Uh, that is one thing about Jim Beam I like is that you can tell that they put some effort into it. Let's, let's not just add a thing to our existing thing. Let's, let's retweak it a little bit. Yeah, and I find that that <laughs> really helps in finishing processes. Going in. Ooh, definite sweet notes. So sweet notes, I'm going to jump right in. Green apple, <coughs> which is kind of what worries me about the apple liqueur is that it doubles up on that apple. I get a nice Fuji kind of red apple, and then it's medicinal cherry, a little bit of brown sugar vanilla, less on the palate more dominated by that apple vanilla note a and then more oil than i expected a little more oil that's the age it's a little more yep. temperate those edges are nice and rounded it's not harsh mm -hmm. or brittle it definitely doesn't seem like it's been a long time in the, in the not brain. a lot of extra time yeah lot, let me rephrase it. yeah um it's still not age statement yeah it's it's good it's pleasant. Yeah. It's perfectly suitable as an everyday drink in bourbon. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call this like a, pardon me, I wouldn't call this a special celebration. Like, no. oh, I got to Jim Beam Black. It's just but a you know different what? take on Somebody it. who wants to just try bourbon, right? Yeah. You can get the white, you can get the black, you can A, B them, which is always important. Always A and B. Something similar, but not the same. Oops, wrong one. Is the white what we're calling the original? White is the original. Black is the extra aged. And that's just because of the color of the label. Yes. Well, no, also there's some extra aging that goes into the extra age. But no, yes, the that's the distinction. The white. So. white label's the standard 43% 86 proof regular Jim Beam offering. Mm -hmm. There's a, I get a little citrus on the back end, but like a very, like a little zest more than peel. So the reason I didn't pick up the citrus is also because I'm drinking a beer with it. So I'm getting, I'm naturally, I'm getting some, some orange, some grapefruit and I don't, and almost like a, like a hibiscus note. And I don't want that to, to influence what I'm picking out of the whiskey. So I'm specifically picking mm -hmm. out things that are different. Did you get any herbals? Yeah. I just said, I just said I got oh, sorry, some did. hibiscus. Um, but I think the hibiscus might be from the hops and the beer. Other than that, there may be a touch of jasmine, <laughs> light green tea. I get something thing. green. I can't like uh, I can't describe something it. Something vegetal, something herbaceous, like green herb kind of, but Not, only, right, so, only at the very back end. So going through them: basil, oregano, tarragon, thyme, rosemary. Any of those? I know I well, just listed off a bunch warm. of them. I just bought a lot of spices and did yeah. grocery shopping, <laughs> so I'm very much it, in that. It wouldn't be something you would bake, a, like roast a chicken with. <laughs> well, that's savory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going baking spices, more brown sugar, no. cinnamon, cardamom. I think, you, I think you were closer on the more the floral. Clove, you know. nutmeg. If we want to go floral, then we're going... I'm not going to get it. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to get Honeysuckle? it. Honeysuckle? Nope. No? Okay. No, I would have thought that was the brown sugar. Honeysuckle's too subtle for this, I Okay, think. okay. It was more along the lines of just 
it's definitely vanilla I, bean, vanilla bean pod. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I'm actually very interested in the Jim Beam vanilla to see how much they crank up the I'm vanilla. worried because it's going to well, be yeah. sweet. It's going to be sickly sweet. So, moving on. So, let, we just did the black. Let's do the white. Okay. By the way, thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate it. And please, comment below. Do you have a favorite Jim Beam? Have you tried Jim Beam? Um, what is your favorite whiskey? Give us some, you know, feedback so that we can uh, hopefully get a little community going of talking. That'd be great. Sync preview. There is another Jim Beam coming up. It is going to be the Distiller's Cut. That video will probably come out. Oh, I thought you meant uh, like before or after. I haven't heard of. Yeah. Before or after. Before or after what? This video. February 14th is where we're at. Oh, after. I thought after. that's after. going to be okay. its own separate video, right? Right. It's and, gonna, yeah. Okay. So, sorry. Sorry. After uh, this video, we've got something else coming out that is Jim Beam related, and it's going to be something special, something that I haven't seen in a whole lot of places. But we're doing, we've done yes. the black label, now we're going on to the white label. This is the standard Jim Beam offering. Yep. Uh, if, by the way, if you want to, you know, be alerted when new videos come out, such as the distiller's cut of Jim Beam, subscribe. You know what to do. Subscribe down below. Uh, what do they say? Smash that like button. <laughs> Smash it. Smash it. Push the thing. Click on it. Make not this... not multiple times. I know I'm motioning multiple times. One singular time, oh, and then click all. Yeah, this isn't TikTok where you can hit that like as many times as you want. Yeah, we're not trying to leave hearts here. We're just trying to. I wish. Trying to get. I mean, you know what? You want to leave a heart? Leave a heart down below. Okay. It's been a long. It's been a long. Uh, it's been a long year. <laughs> Wow. You like that? I haven't pulled that out in a while. That is a muscle I haven't flexed in a Ooh, minute. I not I, I feel ways about things now. Thank you. <laughs> Big feelings. What Big are we feelings. drinking again? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the standard edition Jim Beam White Label. So, yes. Um I can't believe you're constantly fear with this. That's awesome. So I like boilermakers. Yeah. Which is just a beer and a, not a sidecar because that's where you got the little guy on the, you pour that son of a bitch into that beer. That's what I like. Those are fun. Going into the white label. Getting back to our job. Uh, you want to you propose the next toast? I had a good one the last time. You Let's sure see did. if you can live up to it. Well, I, I'm going to try not to do the, the, the old chestnut, the old standard here. Uh, Come on, I did all that off the top of my head. Let's go, Chief. Create. This is the vibe we're trying to live in, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Content creators. This is content. <clears throat> now create. <laughs> I'm actually going to steal this from Jason Mraz. May the worst of your todays be the best of your tomorrows. No. May the best of your today be the worst of your tomorrows. So otherwise... It Do we have to unclink? No. Do we have to thud and then take it away and then reclink? Can you... Captain and Tennille? All right, fine. I apologize. Let me try this again. May you be the person that you hope people think you are. And if you can't, try to live up to it every day. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. Um, So obviously... It's Jim Beam Black Light, a little bit. It's yeah, you're gonna. Muted. So I imagine, I I assume, I think we're gonna start with a little sharper edges, a little bit of mm. the unrefined quality, maybe a couple different qualities. <clears throat> I assume a little saltiness from the unfinished, <clears throat> underaged part well, of it. Not on the nose, but I. Oh yeah. No, I'm, that's I'm not a little. Kidding. It's a little oversaturated, a little brinier. Then why then am I not getting it? I'm getting it compared to the compared to the last one. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's it salt is. water. It's it's the harshness. That's the. Brittle. I must not That's have had Jim Beam in a while because I didn't remember that. At regular all. white label, yeah. I don't remember that. At all. Well, so a being this is a great lesson for everybody. A being an extra aged whiskey of the same variety, the same varietal, the same composition, the same mash bill. The only difference is age or barrel. It is a wonderful way to find out what aging, what time, what barrels do to different finishes. Glenn Murray, uh, 
out of the out of the the Glen part of Scotland has non-age statement sherry port chardonnay all unaged statement finishes and then it has a 12 year and it's so nice having an american counterpart mm -hmm. to that because jim beam does a lot of a lot of offerings in a good way they're diversifying their market they're allowing their portfolio to, exp to explode their they're giving different options to different people. They're trying to chime into different tastes and different palettes. But the white is just that side of sharp for me. Just that side of young. I don't know why, but for a second, while you, while you were talking, I gave it another swirl and sniff. And for just a second, I thought I smelled tobacco. Okay, yeah. Tobacco leathery notes. I'm not crazy. Good. Leathery notes, tobacco notes. But then it went away and I started getting a lot of what we smelled with... Uh, uh, Jimmy Black, but muted. So with the tobacco notes, a lot of what I notice is the higher profile intense whiskeys. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, the, it, the higher, the higher oil content heavy whiskeys. It's not like they're going to carry over some of that richness, and right. that richness is what translates into tobacco, leather, furniture polish. Yes, not not tobacco, but more a leather wallet or something that you when you, you ever smell oil jacket. Oh, an oiled glove, an oiled baseball. Yes. Yeah. Or that new car smell. A new car leather, smell. leather seats, yeah. And you're getting like someone conditioned. Yes. It's well maintained, well conditioned leather. <laughs> it's always which the is, note we're getting out. Which of. is what you want in your whiskey. <laughs> Especially what you want out of a non age statement whiskey. But But it was very weird and, and I'm glad I'm not just imagining no, things because no, I was just like, no, where the hell did that come from? As Rex and Daniel love to point out, taste is completely objective. I am right, you are wrong. There is no room for interpretation. That's not what they say. My palate is the only one that's correct. No, everything is subjective. Taste is subjective. That's right. For that those, is the way for you to remember that. For those of you that don't know who Rex and Daniel are, the Whiskey Tribe, they're the basically the not the founders of the Whiskey Tribe so much as they are... The Whiskey Tribe is headed by a five-tier, five-level, fifth-level, fifth... Level, fifth planet whiskey sommelier daniel whittington and then it is also headed up by a marketing and media consultant and rambunctious mooch rex williams he's really yeah he pretty much does like the marketing and the the appeal stuff he's the idea machine. i have no idea he's the idea machine <laughs> he's yeah, the content oh you're the idea machine he's the content creator okay no, I honestly. No, I'm like, the guy with the Whiskey Academy. Yes. <laughs> um, they live in a, to a magic tower. <laughs> a magic tower of whiskey called the Wizard Academy in Austin, Texas. Yes, uh, and they have. Uh, they have a vault of over accumulated mm -hmm. over three thousand whiskeys. And they also have a lovely place called the Feather and Fang. The Feather and Fang which is, I a love it, is it? Feather and Fang is a distillery in Austin, Texas, and they produce their own. I believe it's Texas whiskey. I don't know if it's bourbon. It's blend. I know they because do, it's they sourced. Do, yeah, they do sourced blends. But they do sourced, and I, I think they're also working on their first batch of their own stuff. Ooh. I don't want to jump out there. I'm not in the Patreon. I don't do right. it. Sorry, I don't pay any money because I have no money to spend. Yep. But through this conjecture... It's mellower. In terms of any burn but yeah the edges are sharper it's a little more unrefined it's a little thinner there's the iodine for sure and I... it's and it's an iodiney medicinal I did a review um i was at sand dollar i was at a local blues bar and uh i said surprise me or you know something to that effect to the bartender and i told him what i liked and what i'd had and i said i've never had a japanese one and i think it was nika and I K K A, oh, but whatever it was, I heard every. I heard lots of good it, things. I, I'm not complaining. Nika. It was just one of those. You take the sip and you're like, this Nika, is Nika Japanese whiskeys. We'll do reviews of you. It was no, it was it wasn't Nika at that point. I think it was. Something was else. that the place we had in the plastic club, plastic cups, or was no, that no, the, no. Uh, the whiskey bar? That was no, that was at uh, Club One Seven Two okay. in the Rio. So, okay. anywho, I took a I took a smell and I was like. 
but yeah, no, uh, sand dollar, I think it was in a glass, but it was the wrong shape or whatever. But I, when I took a taste, I remember thinking, this is literally a bunch of different whiskeys thrown in. So I was, I went all over the, and this is reminding me of that where sometimes that's good, but is this what Jim Beam White is about is have some, have some peat or not peat, but have some iodine and have some of this and have some of that. I mean, that's, that's the thing I think that's great about Jim Beam is it's got all those edges, but what do you do with beam? You mix it. Beam and coke. Or you shoot it. Beam and coke or you shoot it. Yeah. You get it through your system as effortlessly now, as possible. That being said, we have had much worse whiskeys that were like, oh, this is a shot whiskey for sure. We're going to have worse whiskeys either before this video or after this video, whichever way they happen. Well, since it was a present, I say we do the apple last. And I say we do the vanilla. Vanilla. You say it's a present. I still view it as you a curse. Say you love me. Uh oh. What? What? Well, I'm out of whiskey glasses. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I was like, are you just leaving? No. Sorry. When I, hey, airport hack for those of you that travel a lot. I know I love to travel. When they don't have whiskey glasses, I swear to goodness, a wine glass will cut the mustard. Yep. Although I have actually seen uh, beer tasting glasses, which are kind of like a bigger version of this almost. Oh, oh, goblet, goblet glasses. Kind of, yeah. Um, and and that that did a, a good job for me as well. Uh, St. Louis Airport, actually. St. Louis Airport. Third one? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> no, just making sure it's clean glass. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna do the Jim Beam Vanilla Beam. Hey. Great segue into the Vanilla Beam. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I wish I was back in outer space. You know what I'm not looking for? A long, a long time ago. In a galaxy. With this stuff far away from my face. I'll tell you what, it smells like death. It can't possibly. It can't possibly be the rest. Okay. I'm having a good time, man. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you are. I'm... Something tells me you won't be by the time this is over. Uh, I need a cup. Oh, look at that. I got one now. That That's didn't run. Not what I expected. Jim Beam Vanilla? Yeah. I don't know what I expected, but... Oh, fuck. That's got legs. There's mud in your eye. I like that one. Oh, I don't like that one. Oh, okay, I'm going to jump in with notes because I got them right off the bat. Sailor Jerry rum. Any overly spiced vanilla rum. Yeah. Sailor Jerry, Kraken spiced rum. Uh, 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 Captain Morgan, Captain Morgan, whatever the 90 proof one is. Uh, Crown Royal Black. This has notes of that. <laughs> oh, that is rum and coke yeah. in a in a glass. Not what you expect with the word whiskey attached. It smells like rum. It, it smells it, like a spiced rum. I get old chew. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Vanilla liqueur infused with Kentucky straight. This sounds awfully familiar. Hmm. You know, the apple's probably going to be pretty bad too. That's not whiskey. You lied to us, Jim Beam. The green... The green apple's not whiskey either, is it? Well, at least it's not. I bet it. I bet. At least the vanilla's not overpowering in the smell. I, like, I can't smell it outside of the glass. I bet the green apple tastes like crapple. I bet the green apple does taste like crapple. But in the meantime, shall we lick the shoe? Mm, <laughs> I. We're doing this for you, people. You. you really? trying to get it over the thing. <laughs> My, I, I'm only five foot nine. I don't have very long arms. All right. Do Sir? We have, do we fucking have to, though? No. Like, we had two... We had one really good one, and then we had an okay one, and now I feel like the bar is about to drop from underneath our feet, and the ground is about to come up over our heads. We're, we, to we, shell super seen it. We suffer for you folks. So you don't have to. No, I just suffer. Cannot recommend so far any Jim Beam that is flavored with a vanilla or fruit. It, 
I mean, I'm assuming the fruits can be the, the green apple, the apples can be bad, but it's only 35 percent. Wait a minute. You're telling me I'm going from 43 percent to 35, and this smells that much worse. I get 11 percent of alcohol, and it tastes better. Apparently, they did. You, you, you don't. You, you, you don't know fucked up. Now I figured out the math, and now the smart person in me is angry. But I'm still gonna drink it because. And you know this costs more than regular too. That's what. Anyway, uh, why do you have to? Why do you have to hurt me? I invite <laughs> you into my home. On this, the day of my daughter's wedding. On this, the day that I am actually feeling good enough to have visitors. Um. Oh. No, I got this one. Wait. Enhance on. your calm, citizen. I uh, uh, It's my turn again. Yeah, it's Fuck your turn. Fuck you, man. It's your turn. Stretch the muscles. Let's see what comes out. Centered. We are one with the cosmos. May you make it to the weekend. May the weekend be better than the week. And may the Monday following be the best Monday you've ever had. That way, no matter what day in the week you are, when you watch this video, you're having a good day. Amen. Oh, the sin of non-binary gender that is not offensive to anybody. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a <laughs> fucking anvil strike. Clang! Uh, he's, hers, days, and gays. That's, that's, he's, hers, that's, they, that's the thing on TikTok now. He's, hers, days, and they. He's, he's his, hers, and... He's, hers, days, and gays. It covers hers. everybody. I like Let's that. just get this over. Here's 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 I don't want to drink it. That's why I'm procrastinating. I hope you people like a long video. Here you go. Okay, ready? Ready? Anticipation. This is Sparta. No, Sp this is Vegas. This is for y'all. I hate you all. I think I speak for both of us when I say, what the fuck, Jim Beam? <laughs> oh, you done us dirty. That, mm, no. Mm -mm. Oh. Right. Um, not looking oh. forward to the green, to the uh, apple. <laughs> I think we need some water, sir. I'll tell you what, my body is telling me no. And my mind is telling me no. <laughs> And my soul is telling me no. Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! To the no, no, no! So, uh... Alright, vanilla was bad. Wow, we're okay. We're Alright, hold we're, on. We're, no, we're, no, tasting notes, we're, tasting notes. Okay. Over candied. Yeah. Over sugared. Yeah. Under, under, like, at the same time under and over boozed. Tastes like you made a cinnamon roll and then soaked it in rum. But the icing you just poured on after, it's like icing out of the packet. It's super synthetic. It's super greasy. It doesn't taste oily. It tastes greasy. It's a not a good viscous mouthfeel for me, but I will digress. I actually had a re Just last Tuesday, I went on a date night with my wife because it's Tuesday. Ask your parents, kids. There's a commercial reference you don't probably know. Um, I think it was... Uh, some wine company. It's like, because it's Tuesday. Why are you drinking Martini and Ross? It's just like, what an alcoholic thing to say. Martini and Ross. <laughs> because it's Tuesday. Anyway. Meanwhile, you're like friends. Yeah. Yeah. Was so, the, so, was the box wine so, advertiser. As a, so we end up. Franzia okay, can go fuck yourself. We end up at the most romantic of places, the mall food court, because we couldn't pick a thing. So we each got what we wanted. Hooray. She surprised me with a Cinnabon. Hey. I, I personally love Cinnabon, the original Cinnabons. She surprised me. I gained 10 pounds thinking about Cinnabon. You're welcome. <laughs> no, so, I don't want it. I, just, I did so much work to get rid of it. I, I'm, I'm leaning up some. Stick with me. So trying to. she surprises me by getting the caramel pecan, which basically. You're absolutely right. Which basically makes it a pecan sticky bun, yeah. except not because the, the glaze is this melted. It, and it was just soaked in it, and every bite, I'm like, it's good, but I really wanted that white 
frosting from the you know Cinnabon. And that's what this reminded me. I took a drink and I'm like, great. I thought I was done with that damn cinnamon roll. <laughs> that's exactly what it tastes like. It's, it tastes like a, a not a pecan fritter. Because a pecan fritter has no, body. It tastes like this a pecan sticky bun that's been just icing. It, it like yeah, no yeah. bun, no bready notes. Yeah, 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 no yeah. bready notes. There just the icing. <clears throat> we backwards engineered it. Yes, <laughs> back. We got it. Sometimes that's how you get to. That's how you have to get through your tasting palate. Mm -hmm. You have to back. You have to go. This tastes like this. So what are the elements that I'm pulling away? Nutmeg, cinnamon, but both of them are in like a candied sugar, right. already been toasted, already been cooked. Like the baking spices used. from the sauce, not they're the dull. Dough. They're dull. They're super, super cooked out. Right. Doesn't nothing about it tastes fresh. It all tastes candied or, or, pre cooked. It's mm -hmm. like like that pre -cooked. flavor. Pre cooked. Yeah. That flavor on a bread pudding <coughs> would be amazing, probably. For about two bites, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things that you're. This you're, is this is another shot. Like I would. It's so rich. So somebody great. gives me a shot of this, and I drink it. I'll be like, "What the hell was that?" I'm glad it's just a shot. I would use that in a mixer for like a birthday cake shot, but I would not use what, that as a drinker. Vanilla milkshake. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll I'll throw that in with oat milk, and dude, I. Okay. <laughs> good, good change. Jim Beam Vanilla, great, fantastic, in a milkshake with protein powder. And Ooh. maybe you want a little <laughs> two ounce start to your day. <laughs> maybe you want something to sweeten it up and you don't want to use agave nectar or over processed sugar. This overly sweetened bottle will get you there. What the do problem I want before I hit the gym? Some Jim Beam. <laughs> G Y M J I M. Jim is the same. <laughs> Jim Beam. G Y M B E A M. Oh. There's your title. There it is. Jim Beam. Oh, it's Christ Almighty. Like I said, marketing master and guru. If any of you would like to talk to me or have a free no, consultation, no, remember, please hit me up. Don't you remember? You're the discount Daniel and I'm the budget Rex. I'm definitely discount everything. Yes. So, all right. Discount advice. We're going to take a quick break to reset ourselves, and then we're going to tackle the apple. Oh, the apple. Okay, let's do the apple. So, let's get it over with. Be right let's back. Let's get it through. Thank you guys for sticking around. Yes. I'm sorry. I need a, a solid minute for over-synthesized apple taste. Oh. It's going to take a minute. Yeah. I know what this has in store for me. I'm not the happiest about it. But we'll get through it together. Um, yeah. I hope. We're doing the apple. Okay. And we're jumping in. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Josh, for the wonderful gift that is this Jim Beam apple. I can smell it. Oh, my God. I can smell it from so far away. Should we just shoot? I really don't want to do this. I can fucking smell the green. Want to mix the vanilla in with it? No, I just. Should we? Should we just... I'm really upset that you brought it with you. <laughs> just would would. Oh, I'm... Let me ask you this: Would some would some chocolate make? No, it won't. No, it won't. No, it won't. Just keep it in your pants. <sighs> Guess what I found? Oh, it's such a sharp apple. Oh. Apple pie Kit Kat. All of this. <laughs> okay, so we're doing uh, Green Apple Jim Beam. This is not Ooh, whiskey this is flavored not... with green apple. This is green other... apple liqueur. That's been shown a bottle of Jim Beam. <laughs> that had a bottle of whiskey in the next room. Oh my. I'm I... so fucking mad that you brought this over again. It's green apple and it smells like I... feet. I thought it'd there's be feet and there's saltiness and it's funky and there's like a cheesiness to it and it's a little rancid. I thought it'd be funny because of the apple pie Kit Kat. I... Happy mm. Valentine's Day. Oh, I can still smell it from down and like like keeping it full arms like. Well, like... The, okay, right off the bat, let me just say we're gonna shoot this. We're, there's no, there's no. Oh, room. you don't want to taste it? <laughs> Yo, we're gonna taste it. You're gonna taste it when you shoot it. There's no notes. It's apple. It's so funky, dude. It's green. It's medicinal green apple. Like, can I? 
No, it's it, the same. It's the same. Look, it's it smells like apples on feet. It's apple, uh, apple it's, schnapps. Basically. No, there's no, there's like a rancid bad oil. It doesn't smell like alcohol at all. I mean, like a ooh, this might you know. It's gonna hurt, and it's there's so much oil to it. It's clinging to the glass. Well, like I said, it's man. more clinging than my worst axe. Like I no, 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 I'm not. Ooh, it's white shot. Oh yeah, you know you want one. Dear God, all I've ever asked from you is to deliver me from evil. I would hope that maybe you could come through once. You underserving, underproving son of a bitch. Oh, shoot, I just dropped it. <laughs> Woo! It's party. This actually helps. Oh, I made myself sad. Oh, it hurts. Okay. All right. That uh, was... With that. <gasps> All right. Look, it's apples. It tastes like apples and bourbon. Yeah. And not in a good way. It it tastes like you cut open some apples. You mm. pressed them a little bit. Oh, granted, you probably put some cheesecloth down. You took a potato masher. You crushed the apples down. You opened it up a little bit. You got some of the juices going, but then you just poured shitty whiskey on top <sighs> and then oil. It tastes like three parts and not a cohesive unit. With that, Maybe I should have shaken it up first, like a cocktail. Well then, I think... Oh, I'll... there's coconut to it too. <laughs> God damn it. I hate it. Oh, fucking zero. Zero, Jim Beam. You're... <laughs> it's amazing how you can go from a non-age statement... Just, this is the, the extra aged black. And it's good. And I could drink that all day, all night. And then you put out the apple crap. The crapple, if you will. And it just deters me from wanting to try more of your products. It is such a visceral reaction that I don't know how to balance this. I, I feel bad, except I know how great this is going to look in the video. I hope you use the whole rant. Oh, I um, so, yeah, that was interesting. And awful. And aw well, equal parts awful and meh. So. We made it. We made it and. All four. We went Jim Beam Black, Jim Beam White, White, Jim vanilla. Beam Vanilla, and Jim Beam Apple. And. And they're done. We're done. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy day of celebration of love to you, to your loved ones, to me, to my loved ones. I forgot about the do, do it. Let's uh, I side note. <laughs> not giving you any more context than this. My nickname in high school used to be White Chocolate. Wow. Not diving into that one. You guys enjoy that. Oh, it's, it's just, that's it. That's that overly so, candied sweetness. In the meantime, if you that's want to. That's that icing note <laughs> in the vanilla. It, it brought it, it brought full circle. You Van, see? The vanilla, gingerbread. Gingerbread, ginger cookie, ginger Ooh. snap was the flavor we couldn't get in the vanilla. That we were thinking, at least that I was thinking of. Vanilla. Where's the vanilla bottle? Right there. It was the third one, right? <clears throat> one, two, three. Vanilla. So, ginger snap, ginger, graham cracker, cookie crust. And yet it's way too much icing. It's surprisingly addictive. You want some more? No. Okay. No, I don't. I. Okay. <laughs> not, not surprisingly Sir? addicting. Entirely too much sugar. Oh, sorry. Just That's remember, fine. it's the thought that counts, and this thought was well played, ill placed. So, every thought in this video has been well thought out under the duress of improvisation so, but i hope you continue to be amazing i hope you continue mm -hmm. to be good people and be good people to each other be amazing to each other hold a standard that's higher for somebody else than you hold for yourself mm -hmm. and maybe just maybe we'll all find happiness together well so, well so that's that for an outro that's that's beautiful and if you would like to see us suffer some more please Hit us in the comments with what you want to see us sub. I hope you know how fast my face went from pure happiness. Like, I did a good outro, too. That's right. Reality set in.
<laughs> I think that's a perfect summation. If you can capture the screen grab from 2021 and the desolate hopelessness to 20, but or sorry, the desolate hopelessness of 2020 to the ironic starry eyed wonderment that is 2021. <clears throat> Actually, maybe we can, thinking, maybe we can get through this I, year together. I was thinking as a January 19th to January 20th of January. It is definitely a month shift. So I don't know if you guys kept up, but I hope you kept up with things that were important to you through this mm. very, very difficult month. This has been tough on everybody, All right. but perseverance. So with that, be a good person, be good people. Don't suck. <laughs> and if, if you, Unless you're sucking down a whiskey bottle, in which case, <clears throat> drink responsibly. So, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. Uh, just don't, you know, if you want to subscribe, appreciate it. Click down here. Don't forget to ring the bell. If you want to support the channel, by all means, there's links down in the description. It really does help, and we really appreciate it. And uh, remember to be amazing. And there's Patreon content coming. Yes, there will be patron only content coming up on that. So if you're not a member of Patreon, by all means, please do that. Um, I'll be going through a little some changes here coming up soon. There's going to be a hiatus in the channel. There's going to be some workshopping through video format, through interpretation of comments, things like that. Interpretive dance. So be responsive, <laughs> be responsible with your drinking, and be responding to people that are trying to reach out to you in your life. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. So fucking loud. Sorry, big hands. <laughs> big hands, big claps. <laughs>